Millions, maybe as many as tens or hundreds of millions of people worldwide claim to have seen UFOs. And while the majority of UFO claims can be often explained as natural phenomena, there is a small amount, around 2 to 5 percent, that is not easily explained. Nonetheless, many people still are very eager to believe that aliens exist, despite there being no hard evidence. Polls show that 20 million Americans have seen a UFO, and maybe as much as 4 million that claim to have been abducted. Most alien abduction stories are highly questionable. People usually describe a UFO sighting as some type of round disc, but UFOs also have appeared as balls of light. Whatever they are, UFOs fly at speeds and make sharp turns at those high speeds, which are physically impossible for our aircraft to do. These sightings cannot be some kind of secret weapon. What also is absolutely amazing is that there is no total proof anywhere that most UFOs and their occupants are coming from outer space. There has never been 100% foolproof radar detection of one entering our atmosphere. They've been chased by numerous militaries and not one proven UFO has been shot down. When looking at the UFO phenomena, several important questions can't help but cross our minds. How can a physical spaceship change shape? How can they vanish before our eyes? Why do they move quietly to abduct people and destroy their lives? Is it because there is a relationship of UFOs and the occult? Abductees speak about being transported through solid objects. Some say they have astral traveling or an out-of-body experience. Some talk about being drawn toward a light, which is similar to near-death experience. Abductees say they have seen aliens on the other side and even report witnessing loved ones with the aliens. This seems to point to a psychic spiritual nature of UFOs. In reality, a majority of abductees and alien contactees develop interest and even participate in New Age occultic or Eastern mystical religions. And some even say they also develop psychic powers and even witness poltergeists. In my opinion, I believe aliens are actually demonic forces, with a possible few exceptions. With such a vast universe, we can't say 100% that life couldn't exist in other places. Otherwise, there simply up to now is no proven physical evidence for a UFO that the government has been ready to show the public. The population doesn't have a spacecraft to examine, alien bodies to see, or any explanations on how they can travel at such speeds using insurvivable maneuverability. No, my conclusion is there is a similarity between near all alien encounters and demonic encounters. Author Reverend Daniel R. Jennings wrote a book entitled, 2,000 Years of Spiritual Warfare, Recorded Accounts of Demonic Activity from the 1st to the 21st Centuries. He says that there have been many different encounters with demons in the Bible's New Testament. He says demons are actually fallen angels who rebelled with Satan. They can appear in human form. They can levitate, cause abductions, communicate mentally, bring about trances and physical suffering, and appear and vanish almost at will. Satan and his followers want to convince people to reject the true God and to worship Him. But would fallen angels really want to appear as aliens? Paul warns us in 2 Corinthians 11:14 that Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. UFOs often appear as objects of light. They pretend to be good. The late UFOlogist John Keel has said demons can manifest themselves in almost any form and can physically imitate anything from angels to horrifying monsters with glowing eyes. These entities can materialize and dematerialize just as UFOs can. They can walk through walls and perform other supernatural feats. Maybe the U.S. government will provide evidence once and for all in the near future for the existence of alien spacecraft. A whistleblower named David Grush, a former intelligence official, said in early 2023 that our government has possession of intact and partially intact alien vehicles. Also, a current intelligence official, Jonathan Gray, has confirmed to Congress the possession of exotic materials from alien craft, saying we are not alone. David Grush, mentioned earlier, does not say he has personally seen alien vehicles, nor does he say where they may be being stored. We'll see where this all turns out to be. Certainly, there has been a lot of UFO conjecture in recent months. This is H.A. Graves.